What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. Which cities hold a black bag? With all of the relationship talk and people want marriage and people want this, that, and third, and high value people and men making over six figures, and where the middle class people, because they say 64% of black men are in the middle class, um, it's like maybe another 10%. It's in the upper class to up. But close to seven to 10. Um, but I got to ask the question. And I, I don't know about the women. I actually don't know. I look, I look for it, but I couldn't find it. I was rushing. What percentage of black women are in the middle class? I'm not trying to be petty. I just wanted to see. So, but which cities are the black bag at? Because what it looks like is everybody's doing well, but where are you? Because when I look it up, Texas, is where the black bag is. Whether that be Houston, they say San Antonio, but we're not a, a big population in San Antonio. But who knows? But but in Texas, Houston, they say San Antonio, Austin. But I'm throwing Dallas in there for sure. Georgia, Atlanta. That's where the black bag is. So three hours away in the drive, Charlotte. Then Raleigh, North Carolina. And then the DMV, which is predominantly D.C., Maryland, Virginia. So, you know, Baltimore, Maryland, uh, they add the V for Virginia. Um, where, where, where else am I missing? I think that's it, actually. I think that's it. You know, New York cost of living is too high. L.A. cost of living is too high. Oakland, the Bay cost of living is too high. Um... If you, if you knew, you would say maybe like, maybe, maybe Tennessee, like when people aren't in Nashville like that, I don't, I don't see, but you know, what is it, Mumps, Borough, I, I can't even say it right, but where is the black bag, which cities, because when people, Chicago, it's not, you know, people are leaving Chicago, like, like I said, people leaving New York, people leaving Miami, people are leaving LA, um, Harlem used to be that, but price of living too high. So when people are saying they're looking for the bag, well, here's the question. Where are you willing to live at? That's pretty much what's going on because if you say you're in Alabama, you know, Mississippi, probably not. Indiana, probably not. Ohio, probably not. Michigan, probably not. I'm not saying there aren't exceptions to the rules in those places, but, you know, even Memphis, probably not. You know, so you start thinking about it. South Carolina, probably not. You know, you don't hear people doing well in Columbia, you know, Charleston. You know, you don't hear that. Um, where else? New Orleans, no. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, just no. No. No disrespect to my home state. No disrespect, player. No disrespect. Arkansas, probably not. So this is the, this is the issue. So if you want to go to where the bag is, now if you got skills that translate everywhere, they translate everywhere. But the reason I'm putting this out is because if you want to build a family or a legacy or build a, a, a place to stay, and one, peop one thing, why Texas and, and Carolina have multiple cities? It's because of the cost of living. Cost of living in Charlotte is a is, is cheaper than, than than Raleigh though. Raleigh is higher. Raleigh and Winston Salem have always been higher than than Charlotte, but Charlotte's closer to Atlanta. Atlanta the cost of living was is pretty great. Texas cost of living is is still pretty reasonable. Like if you come from another area, you know you don't think it's pretty reasonable. And people here we gonna be like, man, that's too much. Y'all driving the price up out here. It's but. You have to ask that question. Now, which cities? Or oh, where do you live at? Oh, I live in blah, blah, blah. Well, it ain't, no, no. You're not going to find super, super ballers where you at. It's just not going to happen. When you when you look at where do black most black millionaires live, it's predominantly Texas, um, Georgia. If you want to say the DMV, possibly. Not probably, though. 
but that's that, that's where you know the, the majority of black millionaires reside. That's what it is, you know. So when you chasing the bag and looking for the bag, you gotta, you know, you gotta go where the money's at, or go where the cost of living could change your lifestyle. You get what I'm saying? So those are the places you go. If not, it is what it is. If you don't like those environments, you don't like them. But as Forrest Gump would say, that's all I have to say about that. Like, share, subscribe, or die, try in peace.